I always thought that Grim Patron would be playable in current Hearthstone. And now that Warsong Commander has been unnerfed, we can finally test that. I got Raynad, a Grim Patron expert, to go against meta decks from 2016 all the way up to current Hearthstone. Let's see how well it does. Uh, so we got Pirate Warrior, Hugh Lock, Raza Priest. Uh, I, I forget what the, the mage deck is called, but it was very good. If I remember the name, I will say it out loud, but we'll get there eventually. And then I picked uh, Day One Demon Hunter, Libram Paladin, and then for 2022 to 2023, I just picked a Death Knight deck. Uh, Raren like quickly rattled off some of the archetypes he was playing. I think he said he's playing Pirate Warrior. So, I mean, if that's true, I, I think these are really good. I'm just going to keep Patron because I think we want to be doing that sooner rather than later. But yeah, I mean, this is one of the hardest decks of all time uh, to play. Actually, when Patron Warrior was legal and standard, it had like a 45% win rate. Um, and just like anything else with a skill issue, Blizzard decided to ban it. So, I, you know, I'll probably make some mistakes, but we'll see. I, I was pretty okay at this deck. I ran it pretty deep into some tournaments and won some tournaments with it. I was playing some, some more brain dead versions back in the day, though. I was playing like... Uh, piloted Shredder and Sludge Belcher. So it was like a patron mid-range deck. All right, uh, so we'll go to Nazoth's first mate into upgrade. He didn't do anything, which makes a lot of sense. There's my boy Patches. Honestly, going off memory on like what to use those last few flex slots for is kind of tough. I was thinking of running like Shield Block, Shield Slam even. I, I really wish I could play some of the new cards because like there were all these really good um, new things that you could run. We just full trade into uh, Blood seal into face. Bada bing. Big weapon. God, this deck is disgusting. I think I'd rather have the extra health on the minion than the extra stat on the weapon. Will I regret it? Maybe. Honestly, probably gonna regret it. I'm stupid. Oh man. If I death spite into this, it's just not gonna be that good. Yeah, all my plays feel quite terrible yeah i don't love using coin here but i'm gonna try this this is not good interesting turn i definitely want to quirk run a lead here we're still holding down a pretty good advantage we have so much burn out of nowhere that i think it's fine this is obviously doing this the question is what do we do with the rest of our mana i think it's just quirk run a lead though i'm gonna hold this weapon i don't think there's a reason to swing yeah, i gotta I gotta do the execute line. It just, it saves enough life that it is the play. I'm gonna go ahead and play ghoul rather than armoring as well. Ooh, wait, that's pretty sick. I'm um, glad I held the weapon, right? Cause now I can go play ping and this. Uh, the health total on this actually doesn't matter. Let's do that. That sounds good. Hopefully he doesn't have an answer to this. The five damage is very relevant here. So I have to face tank the five and then yeah, tragic. I don't see an alternative though. So probably just dead. I don't think there's any way I can win this game. All right. The app, you know what, dude? The funny thing is, is the extra weapon swing might actually be the difference of me winning or losing the game. Uh, Cause this is six, four. It actually is losing me the game because the extra ping. Oh my God. If I lose this game, it's because I am stupid. I don't really care if he gets more, right? Dude. All right, man, I've already played my taunts. I don't know. I'm going to try this, but it's not uh, something I'm optimistic about. Ah. God, I play that card. I mean, I'm definitely gonna hero power. If I fiery war axe him, does it change the clock at all? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I could death spite him and then that. That would actually set up lethal instead of giving him two turns to get me. Not armoring up? Was the death spite really worth it, Raina? And I misplayed that game. I wonder what he did. Was he misplayed? Seemed like a rough hand. Didn't get armor smith, I will say that. Uh, that's kind of a big deal. All right, now we go to a more complicated deck. I don't know how to play Q block for the life of me. Okay, this one gives him a lot more time. The, the benefit of the Pirate Warrior there is that it's super aggressive. Damn, this is a fat turn. All right, two Mountain Giants. I mean, they're good, but the Warrior deck does run Shield Slam and Execute. Also, this will be a victory. Now, yeah, mark my words here. Yeah, I was gonna save coin, but I'm gonna do this instead. Very interesting. Tapping for sure. 
So I'm looking for a tap next turn into a mountain giant on the following turn. That's going to be good. And then we're going to go trade into Carnivius cube. Hellfire was buffed actually like literally two weeks ago from four to three, which is a pretty great deal. Now, before anyone's like, this is cheating. He, he doesn't have any buff cards. Patron got a lot of buffs. Like Bash is two mana instead of three, which is a pretty big deal. Exudes back to one mana. Oh, I kind of don't want to play anymore after losing the Pyro Warrior game. That is nostalgic, huh? Just like Hearthstone back in the day. My Hellfire gets screwed, right? I definitely do this. He trades in. It's a good deal. It's a big deal because then this dies to Hellfire, which is very important. But I'm a little nervous here, actually. This was well played from him. The coin into Armorsmith was very aggressive, but I feel like that's his win condition and he knows it, right? I don't know. I'm going to make him do things. Oh my God, this lag. Are you seeing this? Oh my God. I have to go Hellfire, man. Yeah, I think it's going to be this and Hellfire. Just pass. So I want a Dark Pact here for eight life. So here's the benefit of this. If he doesn't kill my Mountain Giant, I get an extra two Mountain Giants and I get the eight life because I'll just Carnivious Cubit next turn. Oh, it's really close. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to force him to have an answer for it. So he's used one Hellfire. That might mean he doesn't have a second one. Ooh, I really want to all in. I think I think I just do. I mean, it seems like it's just right. He just used a Hellfire. He needs exactly the second one. It's kind of what sucks about playing Patron. You have to just like YOLO your, your turn five Patrons a bunch of times. And then like if they have the Sweeper, you're just dead. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of times they didn't have the Sweeper back in the day. So Defile is pretty good. Is it? Oh, well, I mean, just, just draw better, I guess, you know. If he's going to slow roll Hellfire, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, I guess that's game. That's a good top deck, though. That was a good top deck. I, I, also, I should mention, because I'm sure I'm going to read this in the comments, that uh, this is one game. All right, it's one game. It doesn't mean this proves that Patron is just a bad deck or this deck's just strictly better than it, right? It's just, we're just testing the waters here, you know? Okay, if I play Skull of Minari, I would get a Doom Guard. The Doom Guard hits face. I Carnivious Cube and I go Dark Pact. I get eight. I get two more Doom Guards. I like that. I'm not gonna tap. I give him board, but I get Doom Guards. Don't think there was any winning play, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. Do I kill the Accolade of Pain? Do I want to play this too? It's not like I need the resources though. I think I am going to kill this, by the way. I don't know if I, I guess it stops from it getting executed, which is a big deal. Yeah, this is fine. Again, I do I want to play the Cobalt Librarian? Does this set up lethal? This is actually lethal, right? Because of uh, Umbra and Cube. Pretty sure executing. If we execute these, we have no way to win. So I'm gonna try something like this, but probably not gonna do anything. Is there a lethal out here? So Carnivious Cube is an extra. It's ten. This is what am I even thinking? This is just lethal. I'm stupid. I feel like the double hellfire <laughs> draw is really gross, but it is what it is. All right, so this is Raza Priest. Big fan of Raza Priest. I actually love this deck. Now, this one should be even more time. I think I'm gonna full mole. I'm gonna look for Raza. When this deck was in standard, we didn't have Grim Patron, right? Oh, uh, that's a fine hand, I guess. So it's hard to actually know if going for the Raza in this matchup is correct. So against Priest, you need to kill them from hand. I don't know what I'm really looking for. Despite, I guess. Fiery War Axe. Thorison. I don't, I don't think they have that many taunt creatures. 
And Priest. I think he's playing Raza Priest. Okay. I don't love armoring at 30 because uh, then your battle rage can never turn on to draw cards. See, I would never play the ghoul. That's why I suck. <laughs> I'm definitely going to draw a card here. Okay, Lyra's nice. I actually have to craft Lyra for this deck. I didn't actually own Lyra. Wasted 1,600 dust for potentially one game. I'm just going to not armor. Do I want to hit this? If I hit it, you know what the probably the better play was? Is to hit into this and then heal it. But we'll just pass for now. Okay. It's definitely looking better now. Um... I don't think I'm gonna swing though. I mean, I've been at such an advantage here, right? Like I have so many good tools against Grim Patron. I think I'm okay at doing this. I'm just so far away from comboing him that I don't know, sandbagging Patron seems questionable. Well, I'm, I'm gonna hold off on Patron. Just don't think we ever win by YOLOing it. I, I know I'm playing this really slow. I think it's I think it's how we win. We do 30 from hand. Ooh, do I want to paint that? I want to wait for Lyra a little bit longer. I'm tempted to heal him, though. Is that weird? Um, I don't know if I really need to paint either. Well, stacking armor isn't the worst against them. I don't hate playing one more. Uh, whatever, let's a little bit more pressure on. Again, really weird play. I could just go pain into Kazakus. I think that's fine. I'll probably take what, like a five? I don't know if the ten's ever necessary. It's probably a five game here, and it's definitely not a one. Maybe one's better, but I will take the five. Good. Good. Yeah, I mean, I, I could make a bunch of patrons don't think it's gonna do anything for us I don't like I, I think I just need the discipline to play nothing it's weird but like oh my god I'm just hoping to get Raza here I think I'm just gonna mass dispel this worst case scenario right if he gets a scary board we have so many answers to it I guess I full clear here to get some cards out of my hand I need to, where's my dude? This is like that other time I played against him, uh, and I never drew my Raza. Yup. Oh, let me just float eight mana real quick because I haven't seen a draw spell in half my deck. Ugh. I want to keep the radiant elemental too. Maybe I just play Lyra. Do I need the resource? I might need it. That's the thing. I don't really want to just play it. Mind Blast seems like it's fine to just throw down. I, I believe Prophet Velen is in the deck though. I don't think using the coin is ever good either. Do this. I can't burn a card. I need threats on board, but I don't think Lyra is the way to go because it could just generate me more nonsense. And I guess I put up a th like a, a semi threat, but I don't even think it's that bad. Hmm. I think it's right for me to cycle Taskmaster. I'm gonna make the attack. I'm, I'm just, I'm so many pieces away from doing the 30 that I think I need to like use my cards to do stuff. I can't just like sit here on this Despite charge because I'm like three draws away from. Uh, being able to use it to kill him, so I might as well use it to get some card velocity. And I was hoping to draw Battle Rage that turn. Blood Mage down us and a Spirit Lash seems fine. Again, I don't think I really need anything. I just kind of need to draw. He already got, he's going to get three cards from this regardless. I don't really care about his armor total too much. Accolated Pain. I mean, that's good for me, but is it good for me? I mean, it's not bad. Maybe not playing a minion's better there. I actually have no idea, dude. My brain hurts. I feel like there's gonna be so many people judging me for not playing this matchup. I, I'm already worried about like everyone going like, why didn't you play the Lyra earlier? It's nice. Hmm. Should I cycle my other patron? 
Yeah, this will get us Axe, and then I'll Axe the Lyra. Or just not. How about just not any of that? God, this is just ass. I think I'm just going to play this. Get the armor heal up. Clears board. I think there are scarier minions to the Psychic Scream. I mean, what is there to say? I, I'm going to Fiery War Axe, I think, before anything else. Um, I think I'm just going to Battle Rage for one card here. I, just, I have so few left. I'm not trying to get value out of that. What I need is to draw Thorson, so I'm going to start um, just dropping my crap. And I could axe his guy. I could just go face as well. I don't mind him having that guy. Like, I, I'm not so much worried about him drawing cards. It's actually kind of a liability for him to have that out there. Like, maybe I make him overdraw and... Limer root. Okay, I'm tempted to silence this. I am losing a lot of my board clears here, but if I silence that, I mean, I'm not too worried. Like, I feel like I'm going to die in one turn, so I, I feel like this is probably a good thing, right? I almost want to get this wrong. I should get this wrong. God, I think I'm looking for Razaman or Anduin. I, uh, I'm waiting for one of those two to show up. It's a very unfortunate event that a uh, bottom two card or bottom ten cards have both of them in it. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I did top deck the Hellfires, so I, I do deserve this. Could execute, could make him overdraw a card. Is it worth making him overdraw? Maybe. It misses a lot of damage to do that. All right, that's the card I needed. I really hope it's not Raza. Hey, there it is. Your fit is sealed. Why don't you uh, seal these nuts, Ram? God damn it. I mean. <laughs> hey, I play this card. You don't say. Oh, I really don't want to do math. Th this must be lethal in some way, but oh, I really don't want to. Th thanks for making the room. This must be lethal, right? Like, how can this not be lethal? It's just so much math. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I really didn't think I would, I would get there, but he just kind of dirtled the whole time. Even though I lost, it does feel good to see that. That one's tough. You know, like, honestly, you could blame me for that. Like, that, that could just be a player diff, right? But uh, now we get to Uncharted territory. So Cyclone Mage is next. Uh, if you haven't seen this deck before, it can be absolutely incredibly broken. Uh, it was one of the best decks of this year. I don't know what mage he's playing. I somehow feel like... I want both dust bites because it's the best card in the deck. Maybe that's wrong, but eh. So if anyone doesn't know, just, oh, I forgot they nerfed Sorceress, man. Okay, it's fine. We don't need this card. I could keep a Cyclone too, but this isn't really like a tempo-based matchup. This is more like playing big dudes and making sure you can't kill them. Twin spell is that you can cast the spell basically twice. Um, once you cast it once, you got another copy in your hand. It's pretty great. And uh, that's why it's so good. The problem is, is that I don't know how wide his board's really going to get. There's the Sea Giants. Should I just sandbag this? What is he playing? Yeah, it's just gonna trade for a removal spell if I play it. So I think we're gonna try the combo with it this time. It's pretty awkward board. Like, so this deck was based, this deck has Cyclone Mage. It's basically, there's two win conditions. One is the Cyclone that we saw in the Mulligan. The other way is just building a huge board. And I think the way I'm gonna win this is by building a huge board. 
band currently is Big Poo. I think I'm going to play this, though. For tempo. Also makes my Sea Giant cost a little less. And if he doesn't end up killing it, he'll probably will swing into this. But I don't think I actually need the minion here. Hmm. I suppose. I'm just going to keep doing nothing. Oh, all right. there's a lot of cards I can discover. Forbidden Flame wasn't in none of these cards were in except for Arcane Explosion. So I, I, I'm a man of my word, so I will end up taking I will be ending. Ugh, I will take it, um, even though I would have preferred a different option there. What is his deck doing? He's played one card. I'm so confused. Yeah, I'm really conflicted on this Thorson, but uh, my hands are doing so little for so long. Otherwise, I'm not hitting the important cards to combo him, though. Man, that's tough. I'm going to do it. <sighs> Keep the pressure on, but I, I don't know. Th this might be wrong. It might be better to just wait. Fuck, and I don't have an actual answer to it. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Shit, that's really bad. Uh, Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go with a pretty awkward play here then. I could go this coin into Conjure's Calling to stop another one. That means he gets two other six drops, which is actually not the worst thing for me, I guess. Let's see what he gets first. I worked out. Fuck, I drew the wrong elemental too, man. I needed the giant. Huh, what just happened? Hmm, I guess I'll slam this. See what we get. Hmm. I don't know, something tells me this is just the better way to go about this. And it puts him low enough that just like random death bite attacks start being threatening. I'm so confused by his deck. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, good card. I think this is a must. Also, this is a must. Taking this damage seems bad. I guess they play this and just hope it doesn't die. I guess we do this first. I think we're fucked. <laughs> Taunts. How dare you? Let's execute this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw the extra card. I think that's fine. Acidic Swampoos. I'm taking 10, bro. I'm dead. I'm just dead. I think it's GG. Don't have the second whirlwind. Fuck. Might have to do some not so pretty inner raging here. You could put him to two with another inner rage, but I just don't think that's right. So I would have to get like I'm, I'm looking at Firelands Portal here. It'd have to be like Firelands Portal into Zilliax so I can kill one, ping this off, and then I'm, I'm st still probably dead. Now, Sea Giant can be really good because I can get some really good 10 drops here, uh, which I think is my only out. Which is exactly what I was planning for the entire time. See, I'm just a good player. And if you're a good player, you just get the cards you need. Whatever. We're good. Man, if I lost this game, I would have been pissed. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't get this deck. Sea Giant? Well, at least I'm getting some quest stuns, you know? All right. Let's go to Devoner. God damn it, dude. I can't believe I, I lost that one. That one actually should be really free. 
Now, for those young people or those old people in the chat who haven't played Hearthstone in God knows how long, this was the best deck of all time. Yeah, you can see how uh, how insane some of these cards were, right? If this was in like classic Hearthstone, my God. All right, so that's the card we're looking for. Um, I will be swinging no matter what here. I don't really know what Demon Hunter does. I assume it's aggro. But then all of its creatures are just gonna have like two more stats than mine. Okay, Battle Rage is active. I guess I just Armor Smith first. I don't know. None of it sounds great. Let's try this. If this is fine. This is what I mean, man. He plays, plays the armor smith there like it's no big deal. Against the mage deck, it's like he knew what it was. He was like, I'm not playing that armor smith. I don't even know if he had an armor smith in his hand, to be fair. I don't know. I, I like threatening big damage. Like, it, it doesn't die on board. He needs, like, to play a spell. This is bad. Uh, I will be taking damage here, which is a bit unfortunate, but. It's fine. We're fucked. You know what? Honestly, we're fucked. One mana, two, two neutral. Interesting. Ooh, that was like the best draw. So I'm going to kill his guy. Just because I want my Berserker to be as hard to kill as possible. I'm feeling okay about this. I don't think he's had a great draw. Oh, we're just turbo aft here, bro. Okay, we can get IB next turn. No, I think I'm just losing this game. <laughs> I think I'm just dying. I think I'm dead. Because he just swings at the death fight here and I just lose, right? So if one were to... Watch him have some stupid fucking board clear thing I don't know exists. Okay, so 15, 19, I, I'll probably just go face with everything, huh? Cause fuck him. I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe he needed a board clear anyway to not die. It's, it's like any weapon still kills him with two hits, right? Like fire war axe and stuff. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We did it. I expected some board clear out of the aggro deck. Maybe he's just getting bad draws. I don't know. The fun thing about this deck, by the way, and I should mention this, is that there was another deck called Risky Skipper Warrior, which was basically a Rage Warrior, was the only counter to this deck at the time because of Armorsmith, uh, which is pretty impressive. That Armorsmith, like, even in a completely different deck, uh, absolutely rolled me. Now, that being said, this should be a cakewalk this deck is super super streamlined it's super fun this penflinger card used to be a lot better though it used to say uh do one damage to anything I will fight with paladin i mean historically this deck's beaten up on paladin it might be a little greedy to keep battle rage but i'm sick of not drawing it i think it's really important so i'm gonna hold on to it all right oh even better this is the Libra market type, which is this card used to be ass, and then they buffed it to a one mana one three, and it turned out to be good. Librams are pretty great. One three for one with upside. So we're likely dead. Don't know what a Libram is. I will be uh, doing this. That's a Libram. That's one of the few Librams in the game. And this is why it works so well with Penflinger, because you used to be able to go like, these go to zero mana pretty fast. You go like Penflinger, you stack a Libram, you Penflinger, you stack a Libram, and you just keep on going like that. Uh-huh. Of course it draws a card, why wouldn't it? I want to coin this death fight. Ah, oh, but I want to save the coin. So we'll start with this, I think. I could play this, but if I get a secret, I kind of want the draw. I think I'm just gonna make a big dude. There's another Libram. Big deal. May the light grant you peace. I don't know. I... This feels better to me, but it is close. That's a hard. That's a hard play to make. I'm real freaking tired of this card. If I'm gonna be honest. With you. I guess I could do this one first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the 
it's been a while since I've heard the hey loser. I'm just gonna not swim. This is not what we did. Easy boy. He didn't swing, which means he doesn't have the death rattles ready for the death spite, which means there's probably not a great way to clear this. Well, I guess we're doing this. Maybe that's a mistake to attack. Might have been a mistake. I think I'm just going to play this. Put him on a clock. I don't need the life steal in this matchup. I'm pretty sure I will probably be dead in one turn. I don't know if they play quality clears in that deck. I'm just going to hope he doesn't. I don't know. This seems correct. Assuming he doesn't have some like board clear, I don't know about, but I don't fucking know. No, I think I can full clear this board, right? Do this for sure. Smacking this. 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 Is that a full clear? Unless I want to lose the pen flinger, which I'm pretty sure I have to. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily need to, but I do save the damage, which is nice. He also doesn't know about Lady Liadrin, which is good. Like that's, I don't know how many Librams I've played, but it's definitely not the worst thing in the world. And I guess if he's going to send the two damage here anyways, it's probably worth it for me. I should probably just clear it. Librum of Justice. Okay, dude. Uh huh. I think I'm just going to blow my Battle Rage now because next turn would be a great turn to draw Warsong. I know it's like terrible value, but. Yeah. I haven't seen a Libra of Hope yet, uh, which is the really, really good one. We always say Wisdom, so I think this is actually good. Um, I will be playing you. Oh, missed the damage. God, I'm making so many. Mi I don't, dude, you guys know me. I don't make these misplays. Probably have to kill the Warsong Commander too. Do this first. See what I draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. For justice. Was was this different lethal? It was lethal, wasn't it? it was seven. No, it was one off. It was one off. So this has to die. So this goes here. You're killing this. Yeah. Okay, I think I can afford to play super defensive here because I have Omayaga. Okay, man. All right, I believe this is lethal. That was actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Him going face was uh, a little spicy, a little spicy. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like, uh, I, don't, I hate playing against modern decks because there's uh, there's no identity, you know? Like, uh, like it used to be, for most of uh, Hearthstone's history, and pretty much every good card game, different decks do different things. But then, like... They add enough shit after a while, and it's hard to think of new ideas, so then they just let every class do everything. And uh, Hearthstone's been in that state for so many years, so it's like, yeah, you're playing against this aggro deck, and it's playing mono one-drops, and it's playing spells that give it more one-drops, and it's an aggro deck. And then it plays uh, a board clear and a 6-6 six, six taunt, and also, you know what I mean? And that's like every modern Hearthstone deck does all of the things. So it's like, I don't know. It's just it just becomes like 
a card quality test. There's no trade-offs. There's no, there's no way you can like take advantage of like knowing they don't have something because they do just have everything. Like, you know, I don't have to play around Twisting Nether when I play against Zoo in Classic, but in Modern Hearthstone, there's nothing you can't play around. Um, every deck does everything better than all old decks. All right. So this is the last one. We'll do this a little bit. Let me go. This is the last one. This is the, the newest class to Hearthstone. The new, fresh off the block, Death Knight in the Frost variant. Get yours today. Now, I went with Frost because I feel like Unholy, for those of you who don't know, Unholy is more board centric. Like, it's really board centric. It's basically you have to fight for board over the best. Frost is a little bit in between, and then Blood is more of like the control one. I feel like this deck, Patron Warrior, would have a 0% chance against Blood. I feel like it'd just be over. I feel like Frost is a good middle ground. This one has a lot of freezing. So, this will be very interesting to see how well this works. Yeah, see, like this card, right? This card's pretty nutty against it. I think I'm okay with doing this too. Fiery War Axe back at two mana is pretty funny. It used to be three for so long and then they, they buffed it literally like two weeks ago. I think it's better to not attack. Maybe this is better. Not use the coin. Ooh, ooh, Frigidara could be so nutty. God, I like this card a lot because that means I could play this on next turn and I'll be chilling. Two mana deal three used to be like all the cards did and they made it in every deck and now they draw a card two for no fucking reason. Oh, the eggy boy. No, it's 100% it's this. I don't know if Rain has ever seen the location, but this is what a location is in case you guys didn't know. It fills a, it takes a slot on your board. It has a durability like a weapon and you can only use them every other turn. This one's pretty good. This one used to be three mana. It used to have three durability. Oh, those were good times. Yeah. I mean, playing Frigidara is just so nutty, right? I have to do it. That's another thread on board. All right, these cards are an absolute joke. Every one of his cards has like plus two plus two compared to what they would have had back in the day. Yeah, this is going about as I expected with the new cards, to be honest. Like, uh, they're just better than my cards. Um, hmm. is that legal what he just did? Like, can he legally do that? If I go face here, he goes to 17 and then plus uh, an extra uh, nine. He's looking really low. I like this a little bit more. I'm also going to clear my board by one. This, this, uh, this looks like I, I probably pictured it. I think Death Knight might be a little too good for Grim Patron. There'd have to be a little bit more buffs. And then they'll let you just do it again. Huh? Why did they make this card? No way. Whew. This is easily my least favorite game we played. Tough. All right. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know if this was a good idea or not. I, we kind of took a risk on this one. Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's kind of interesting to see how well Grim Patron would perform in a metagame. So if you like this, make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll probably do another video with Raynette at some point. I don't know when. All right. Well, yeah, I was only allowed to play cards up through a grand tournament, which is too bad. I think I think if you added some of the new cards to Patron, it'd be more competitive. But yeah, it was OK. Interesting deck. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Till next time.